hi guys welcome back to the channel so last few videos i uploaded uh, we started solving some questions some past questions why well, past questions particularly on certain topics so we've done for algebra geometry and trigonometry and i've uh, done for number basis so in this video we are going to be um, solving some past questions under indices okay and um i have my first question here so that we don't waste any time so the first question says given that 5 raised to power n plus 3 all over 25 raised to power 2n minus 3 is equal to 5 raised to power 0 find the value of n so the first thing to notice here is that all our um uh, values have a power of 5 or a multiple of 5 5 5 and this one is a multiple of 5 okay so what we want to do is to put everything to have a base of 5 and then we can now um apply our laws of indices so this first one can become 5 raised to power n plus 3 all over 25 is the same thing as 5 squared so 5 squared open bracket 2n minus 3 is equal to 5 raised to power 0 okay so this power is now multiplying the other power that was already there okay so let's first of all expand this one now this will become 5 raised to power n plus 3 all over 5 raised to power this will be 4n minus 6 is equal to 5 raised to power 0 now when you have division here because this this uh, line is same as division sign right it means that you subtract your powers okay so this can be rewritten as 5 raised to the power n plus 3 divided by 5 raised to the power 4n minus 6, which is equal to 5 raised to the power 0. So now that we've written that division, we subtract our powers and keep our base. So we have 5 raised to the power n plus 3 minus, I'm going to open bracket here because we don't have one value here, okay? There are two values. 4n minus 6 is equal to 5 raised to the power 0, okay? Now at this point, we can cancel out our 5 and equate our powers, all right? So we're now having n plus 3 minus 4n minus multiply minus n. So we have plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay. So if we simplify this further, n minus 4n is minus 3n. 3 plus 6 is 9 is equal to 0. If 9 comes over here, we'll have minus 3n is equal to minus 9. And if we divide both sides by minus 3, we'll have that n is equal to 3. Okay. And that leaves us with c as our answer. Our second question says, solve 2 raised to the power of the square root of 2x plus 1 is equal to 32. Like I mentioned in the first question, you first of all want to put them in the same base and then you can now equate their powers, okay? So, 2 raised to the power, the square root of 2x plus 1 remains like this, equal to, I know that 32 is the same as 2 raised to the power 5, okay? So now I can equate their powers. So we have the square root of 2x plus 1 is equal to 5. Of course, we're going to solve for x. Now, if I square both sides of this equation so that I can get rid of this square root sign, I'm left with 2x plus 1 is equal to 25. If I subtract 1 from both sides, I have 2x is equal to 24. And if I divide both sides by 2, I have that x is equal to 12. That means my answer is c. Okay? You have to be as fast as possible in solving these questions because they are objective test questions. Okay, so our third question here says that if 16 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 4 raised to the power of x times 8 raised to the power of 1, um, 8 raised to the power of 1 minus x, find the value of x. So the first thing that we're supposed to do here, first of all, is to put everything in the same base. And looking at these numbers, I know that they are all multiples of 2, which means that I can put all of this so that they have 2 as their base. So let's do that. I know that 16 is the same thing as 2 raised to the power of 4. This remains like this since it already has two as its base as its base and four is the same <coughs> four is the same as two raised to the power of two but i'm going to put my x next to that two x multiplied by eight is the same as two raised to the power of three so that three will now be multiplying the power that was already there which is one minus x okay so now let's solve um, using indices law of addition and the indices law of addition states that when you have two values the same base and there's a multiplication sign between them it means that you keep the base and you add their powers okay addition no multiplication you add the powers when you have a multiplication sign in between and the last question we solved there was a division sign in between so you subtract the powers but here we are going to add the power so 4 plus x plus 1 i'm going to do the same thing for this one too okay so we have <coughs> we have 2 raised to the power 2x plus this is the same as 3 minus 3x okay so i'm just going to um pull that one out so now that our, our base is the same thing here, we have an equal to sign in front, we just equate our powers. So this side we have 4 plus x plus 1 equal to 2x 
plus 3 minus 3x. Now we collect like things and solve our value of x. 4 and 1 is 5. So here we have x plus 5 is equal to 2x minus 3x is minus x plus 3. And if x comes over here, we have x plus x is equal to 3 minus 5. So x plus x is 2x is equal to 3 minus 5 is minus 2. If we divide both sides by 2, we'll be left with x is equal to minus 1, which is t. So here we have a very similar question, but <coughs> this just helps us to understand these rules um, better. So 4 raised to the power 3x is equal to 16 raised to the power x plus 1. I can put this in, um, this is a multiple of 4, okay? We can put them in base 2, but I prefer to put it in 4 since it's simpler. Because since this one is already in 4. So we have 4 raised to the power 3x is equal to 4 squared raised to the power x plus 1. Okay? So if we equate our powers, we have that 3x is equal to 2 open bracket x plus 1. And 3x is equal to 2. This one multiply x. We have 2x plus 2. If we subtract 2x from both sides, we we'll have that x is equal to 2. Which means a is our answer. So let's solve this. Um, we have 216 raised to the power of 1 over 3. All of it now raised to the power of minus 2. Now when you have something like this, all you need to do is to multiply their powers, okay? And that eliminates the bracket. So if I multiply the power here, 1 over 3 multiplied by minus 2, I end up with minus 2 over 3, is it not? So my question now becomes 216 raised to the power of minus 2 over 3. Now how do I solve this, okay? First, I know that 216 is a multiple of 6. Which means that 6 times 6 times 6 will give us 216. Okay, so 6 cube will give us 216. So we can rewrite 216 as 6 cube and then we still multiply by our power that was already there. Multiply by minus 2 over 3. Here, 2 can and 3 can cancel 3. It means that I'm left with 6 raised to the power of minus 2. And when you have a value like this, okay, because a number is raised to a negative value, the way you simplify this is to Turn this minus sign to 1 over. Okay, that's a simple way to think about it. This minus sign becomes 1 over, and then the denominator becomes 6 raised to the power 2, which means that you have 1 over 36. Um, I think I made a mistake here. 1 over 6, 1 over 6. This is 36. 1 over 36. Yeah, I made a mistake. So, our answer here is E. Okay, so this question says simplify 6 raised to the power minus half, multiply by 4 raised to the power minus half, multiply by 27 raised to the power 1 over 3. Okay, so um, in this case, we don't necessarily have to put all this in the same base because, first of all, we can't even put this one in the same base as this one. This one can come to base 2, this one can come to base 4, it means you have 4 and 4 here, or 2 and 2 here, but this one can only come down to um, having 3 as its base. Okay, so which means that means that we can't basically we can't put all of them in the same base. So let's forget about that one. So let's try to simplify them on their own, okay? So 16 raised to the power 1 over 2 is simple as 4 squared raised to the power minus 1 over 2. 2 will cancel 2 and left with 4 raised to the power minus 1, which is the same as 1 over 4. Multiplied by 4 raised to the power minus 1 over 2 is simple as 2 raised to the power minus 1, sorry, 2 squared multiplied by minus 1 over 2. 2 will cancel 2 and left with 2 raised to the power minus 1, <coughs> which is the same thing as 1 over 2. Multiplied by this is the same, 27 is the same thing as 3 cube, is it not? 3 cube is the, um, you say 3 cube multiplied by 1 over 3, the power that was already there. 3 will cancel 3, we're left with um, 3, right? 3 here. So now we have 1 over 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 multiplied by 3. This is the same as 3 over 1, is it not? So if you have to multiply this fraction, we should have 1 times 1 times 3, which is 3, all over 4 times 2 times 1, which is 8. That means our answer is E. Okay, so there are two questions here, and when we are and we're just going to solve this too and call it a day, okay? So this first question says, find the value of 4 raised to the power half raised to the power 6, okay? And like I mentioned before, when you have <clears throat> two powers like this, you just multiply your powers and you simplify. So this is the same thing as 4 raised to the power 1 over 2 times 6 is the same as 2 year 1, 2 year 3, same as cube, is it not? Which is 4 cube. So 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So this is our answer. That's a quick question there. However, this one is not so quick. So... <clears throat> We have base of 5, base of 5, and 0 0.04. And of course, let's find the value of x, okay? So let's do this. First of all, I will try to put everything in the same base, you know? And although this one is a decimal number, we can also put it in um, a way that it looks like it's having a base of 5. So 
Now you use power 2, open bracket x minus 1. We can just use this form to multiply everything here, okay? So this is not a complicated loop. So this is the same as 5 raised to the power 2x minus 2 multiplied by 5 raised to the power x plus 1 is equal to. Now let's break this down. 0 0.04, if we convert this decimal number to fraction, we should have 4 over 100, is it not? 1, 2, right? 4 over 100. 4 over 100 is the same as 2 over, um, sorry, the same as 1 over 25. Yeah, 2 over 51 over 25, correct. This is also the same as 1 all over 5 squared, okay? I remember in the question we treated um, a while ago, we said that if we have a number, let's say x raised to power minus y, we turn this negative sign towards 1 over, and then we'll put x raised to power y, right? So this is like the reverse of that. So instead of us to have 1 over 5 squared, this will become 5 raised to power negative 2, okay? So just like that, we have turned this number to having um, the base of 5. So now we can simply apply our, law, our indices law of addition, and then find our value and then equate um, our powers. So if you apply, apply the indices law of addition here, we would have 5 raised to the power 2x minus 2 plus x plus 1. It will still be equal to 5 raised to the power minus 2. If we equate our powers here, we would have 2x minus 2 plus x plus 1 is equal to minus 2. 2x plus x is 3x minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 equals to minus 2. If minus 1 comes over here, or if we add 1 to both sides of this equation, we would have that 3x is equal to minus 1. So minus 2 plus 1. Yes. And if we divide both sides by 3, we have that x is equal to minus 1 over 3, which means our answer is d. Okay, so I hope that you guys have been able to follow through. Um, if I was so fast, please feel free to um, slow the video down so we are able to um, follow me. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be um, on that logarithm. So we'll be solving some questions on that logarithm. So see you there.